So next up in setting up our FBO director location will be taxes. Already we've configured our location, our chart of accounts, and our payment types. Taxes are the fuel taxes and sales taxes you will charge your customers, and we have two ways to manage taxes in the system. Today I'm going to demonstrate how we link taxes directly to a particular item as part of our setup. The alternative way to configure taxes is to create taxes that are related to individual revenue account numbers. The revenue account number option is something we will discuss with you during the setup process to determine if there's a necessity for that. Typically though, item one-to-one -one and one-to-many relationships work well. So to create your taxes or to manage taxes going forward, it's under configuration, accounting, tax names. In this particular case, I have one tax set up and that's called Florida State Tax at 6.5% and is being accrued to account number 2400. I'm going to go ahead and set up FET Jet. That's a per unit tax. And then I'm going to scroll through my chart of accounts to find the appropriate accrual account for that federal excise tax payable. Your account numbers, of course, may be different. I choose FET Avgas, and I apologize if I typed the wrong value. You may have particular local taxes, flowage, that may apply to both Jet and and Avgas will make that 0 0.008 cents per gallon. And again, you can find an accrual tax that matches that appropriately. Accrued local tax payable, probably appropriate. Typically, we see Lust. And again, you would put in the amount that's appropriate. It's a per unit tax, and that would be a state tax payable. I've only got one percentage tax set up. Maybe I have a... Um, uh, where I live, there's an actual half a penny sales tax. So we'll go ahead and add that. So Volusia County, and that's point, point 0.5 for half a percent percentage. And that still goes to the state of Florida. So that's a state sales tax payable. At that point, we have set up and created our sales taxes. I'll take a look at the next piece, which is our tax and product links. Taxes and products get related. Now, we have not covered in this demo series yet how to create products. That's in another video. But if this particular database has some default products set up, so I can choose add and choose a particular tax, FET Jet, and go from there to add that and connect it to particular products, FET Jet Fuel. And you would walk your way through this, adding each of the individual taxes to a particular product. And that's a quick overview of how we set up taxes.